what if you were never never trained in womanhood how would you live you can't even think because right now every bit of you is a trained bit how do you know that a woman must have long hair how do you know that's how it is 9 out of 10 do have long hair and it has now as i said percolated right into the instincts so it becomes instinctive for a little girl to have long hair so much so that it appears that it's a part of her genetic code that it's written somewhere in her genes that she must have long hair left to herself with no social intervention or occupation upon her mind would she still prefer to have long hair maybe only as much as a boy would prefer to have long hair maybe she would but then boys too would probably prefer to have long hair to an equal more or less equal extent but see how binary it has become you can look at somebody's back and tell his or her gender the hair not even the back is needed just the bust from the behind see men are and women are different their biologies make them different but what we have is a hyper genderization what we have is a hyper sexualization the differences are there but little society has hyper inflated those differences the woman has been turned into a hyper woman and the man has been turned into a hyper man and you must know why because when the differences are great then the attraction is also great and that gives more carnal pleasure if there is not much difference then sexuality is natural healthy not overblown not hyped up not very spicy but when you create a huge difference between man and woman then you know the extent of titillation it offers now for the man the woman is a totally unknown thing she is so different as if she is from another galaxy and for the woman man too is a very very different thing she has no idea being what she is having been turned into what she has been she just cannot know what the man thing is all about because now the man is doing all the stuff that is outside the province of her idea the result is great attraction great attraction and that gives you hyper tantalization don't do that and let men and women be together they would still be different but not so different neither in their behavior nor in their looks in nothing i mean can you really tell apart male and female rabbits from this lot look at them look at them and tell me which one is a male and which one a female tell me is it possible had humans been allowed to live naturally a similar situation would have been there but if rabbits look this way they will be clearly able to tell uh, the male 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 the female the female the female see even the rabbits can see through our idea because they are biologically different so the direction of their ambitions and this are little different but to 
turn woman into a homemaker uh, and to ensure that her first priorities are the baby and the related stuff is to hack down a great part of her possibility if 10 things are possible to her eight of them are hacked down and the remaining two they are greatly magnified as if she is made for only those two tasks those two tasks are also there as a part of her life possibilities but not only those two nobody can deny that women want babies more than men do of course they do but then that's not the only thing that they want and no healthy woman is going to live only for the sake of breeding babies but that's how our culture looks at women hmm? i'm exaggerating but you get the drift right for a long long time there was no female participation in sports as if women don't want to play as if they won't like to play soccer they won't like to run or play tennis or badminton ha huh? or wrestling or or swimming or whatever or trekking or mountaineering don't you see all that was a part of the idea of femininity and don't think that mankind has become emancipated that we have been liberated from the clutches of that idea it is very much in action still maybe the more gross forms of the slavery have been defeated but the subtler forms they are still in action again look at them look at them play see how similar they are males and females only a very very sharp eye will be able to point out the females from the males because still there would be some differences in behavior but those differences are very minute very subtle numerically those differences would be 1% 2% 5% 95% they are see the female rabbit is not saying let the family eat first and then i'll have the carrot she is taking care of her interests give me the carrot or else i'll bite you see <laughs> and off she runs away with the carrot see my carrot my life man too feels extremely suffocated in the cage of the idea of manhood he too is supposed to live a particular life that just clutches his neck and doesn't know what to do with it <laughs> 